Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how you can set up daily reminders using either the Reminders app or the Calendar app on your Apple devices. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So let's say you need to set up a daily reminder. For instance maybe to take a pill at the same time every day. Now there are two main options to do that using your Mac and your other Apple devices. One is to use the Reminders app. The other is to use the Calendars app. Let's look at how to do it in each one of those and which one is probably best. So first let's start with the Reminders app. Now in the Reminders app you have lists here to the left and then you can have items in the list. Now I think unless you already have a list of daily reminders you probably want to start a new one. Maybe one specific to whatever it is you're doing. So I'm going to create a new list and I'm going to call it Daily Reminders. And I can add a color here or change the icon. I'm actually going to use an emoji here. I'm going to search for pill. You can already see it there. And use the pill emoji. And I'm going to set it up here with this color. And now I've got a nice little icon there for it. It says Daily Reminders. Now let's add the reminder. I'm going to click here to do that. And I'm going to add something like Take Pill. And let's say I want to do that every night at 9 o'clock. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to say Remind Me On Day. And I'll just leave today's date there. And then I'll say At Time. And I'm going to put the time. So let's do 9 and PM. And then I'm going to set Repeat. Now I could set it to Repeat Daily. And then Done. It will repeat every day. But I could also Customize it to do say only weekdays, only weekends. Or I could go to Custom. If I go to Custom I could set it up for Weekly and then choose the days. So for instance say if there was a pill I needed to take but I only needed to do it five days a week I could set it up like that. And now I'll use OK and now you can see it describes exactly what days I'm going to be notified on. And that's basically it. I could add notes here if I need to. But basically I'm going to get this reminder now at 9 p.m. It will show up as a notification and assuming I'm using iCloud of course for reminders then I should get that on my iPhone as well as any other Apple devices using the same Apple ID. Now let's try it instead using the Calendar app. So in the Calendar app you can set it up in a similar way. I'm going to create a new calendar to hold this. If you only have one calendar here which a lot of people may then if you add this, a daily event, to that calendar it's going to clutter things up a lot. I'm going to create a new calendar. And since I'm using iCloud I want it to be under iCloud. And let me call this Daily Reminders. You could set it to something like Medical or Pills or anything like that. I'm going to select it here so that when I add a new event it's going to be added for this calendar. I'm going to double click on the day I want this to start, say right here, and create this new event. And I could add notes here and everything if I want to. Hopefully the description here is enough. Now I want it to repeat. So I'm going to click here on the line underneath the date where it says Repeat there. And I could set this up first for the time I want it. So let's say 9 p.m. And I'm going to set the end time for exactly the same. Then I'm going to set Alert to and I could do Every Day. Or I could go to Custom just like I could with Reminders. And here if I set the frequency to Weekly I could describe something like five days a week if I wanted to. So it's up to me. I can see it appear here. And now I've got it set. And if I look here I can see exactly why I created this in a separate calendar. Look at how this is now filling up my calendar here. Well by having this in the separate calendar I could simply uncheck it and it hides it. I'm still going to get the alerts and everything from it. But it's not going to be shown here. It's not going to clutter up my calendar. And anytime I want to check this set of daily reminders I can turn it on and see it in there. Now let's take a look at what happens when you use one of these. I'm going to double click here, go back into it and I'm going to click in there again and I'm going to set the alert to something. So I'm going to set it at time of an event and notice when I'm changing one of these it's asking me if I want to change just this one or all of them. So I'm going to do all but this is going to come in very handy. I'll show you in a minute. So I'll do all. So alert at the time of event. Now what's it going to do? It's going to send me a notification just like Reminders would except it's going to come from the Calendar app instead of the Reminders app. Now I can go down here to Custom and I can customize that. Here you can see it's set to Message with Sound. 
and at the time of the event. That's fine. But notice I could also have it send me an email. Now I want it to send me the notification so I'm going to just leave it like that. But notice here I can use this plus button to add a second alert. So the second alert I can set that for custom and set that one to email. Now what it's going to do there is it's going to send an email to me. So whatever in my contacts app is set as my card. If I have more than one email address I can change that there. And then I could set it to how many minutes before. I'll say zero minutes before so at the time of the event. OK. So you can see I've got two alerts. One is a standard notification and another is an email. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm very email oriented. So if something appears in my inbox at 9 o'clock every night you can bet that I'm going to see that before I go to bed. Probably shortly after 9 o'clock. Whereas an alert I might easily miss. Having both there is no problem. This might be important enough that you want to have two notifications like this. So that's one advantage of using Calendar over Reminders is you can have more than one notification. Say the second one can happen 10 minutes later if you're in the habit of dismissing a notification and then forgetting to actually do the action. Or the second one could be say an email message. Email alerts are a little tricky modern day when we've got multiple devices capable of doing that. This will sync up with my other Macs which will also try to send me email. So I might get more than one email. That's fine. I'd rather have to dismiss two emails than forget the important event. Now here's another advantage to Calendar. Let's say that it's June 1st and I've already accomplished this. I've already done it maybe a half hour early because it was convenient. I can select this, Delete, and I can choose Delete only this event. And now it disappears. I won't get that notification or that email at 9 o'clock because I've removed it. I could do that way into the future. For instance over here I could say well I'm not supposed to take my pill that day for some reason so I can delete it just for that event. Or maybe I want to move this one over here and take it on a different day. And I can change that. So you can modify things in the future and remove or add events. I could even option drag to make a copy of this. And you can see this one is here for 9 p.m. It's all independent by itself. But it was easy for me to actually add that event to this particular day. Note that if at some point I want to change this like from this day on to another time. So let's do 9.30 here. I can do that and you can see I can change it for all future events. So it's not changing any of those past events but starting on this day everything going into the future is now going to be a 9.30 event instead of a 9 o'clock event. So you have a lot more control over what you get in the future when you use a special calendar and have a repeating calendar event. So for me it makes the calendar a winner in setting up things like this over the Reminders app. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.